window. Can you talk to me? Hello? Are you serious? So I'm not saying that that man is a narcissist, but if he is, he's at minimum a very toxic, dangerous person. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. Yes, I know not everyone is a narcissist, y'all, but I don't just talk about narcissism on my channel. I talk about, you know, toxic people as well. Dangerous people like that typically don't start off as dangerous people. They start off as the person that's, you know, holding your doors open, being super nice to you, super sweet to you, love bombing you and giving you everything that you ever wanted and needed. You everything that you want to hear, promise you a great future together. And then all of a sudden, a flip, the switch flips and they turn into somebody totally different. And people like that are extremely dangerous, y'all. If she were to take this person back or if you were in a similar situation and you take somebody like that back, you're opening the door for that person to send you to meet God. Like what I mean, what I mean by that is you, you will no longer have to pray to God anymore. You will be face to face with that, with God. You see his handprints all on the glass and things like that. He, he's like Spider-Man in the glass and punch the glass. Like that is rage incarnate. Open the window, open the window. Talk to me. You don't love me anymore. That person thinks he's about to be replaced and he's going crazy thinking about it. Who know? I don't know what he did to get to this point, but he like, he jumped on the car window and started punching the car. You see his handprints all on the glass. It's a fist print right there and those are hand prints right there y'all this is like literally a dangerous dangerous person if you go back to somebody like that it's 100 percent guaranteed to get worse right here he'll probably start crying and begging and pleading and threaten to send himself to see god i'm i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna unlive myself because you don't love me anymore you don't want to be with me anymore i can't live without you blah 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 boop 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 beep 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 the longer you stay with somebody like that, the worse it typically gets, I promise you. And people like that, this is super controlling behavior as well. And people like that typically start off with little subtle acts of controlling behavior. Like they don't like you having male or female coworkers. They don't like you uh, having friends of the opposite sex and things like that. And it seems cute at first, like, oh, they just care about me. And they just, you know, they get, they get a little jealous here and there. But then it turns into something like that. It seems like to you, like it came out of nowhere. So stay safe, protect yourself. And, you know, I hope this video helps.